what a roller coaster of a final round we had on the MPO side of Vaco 2023. Disclaimer as always, there's gonna be spoilers. So, so if you haven't checked the results, if you haven't checked the highlights, if you haven't checked what happened, I warned you. We are not gonna do the same thing as on the FBO side because there wasn't just a couple of holes that decided the whole thing. There was there was not as much drama, in my opinion, as there was in the FBO side because it was the whole round and that would be an hour long video, even more, like a couple of hours long video to cover the whole round and what's what what went on throughout the round. So if you want to enjoy that, if you want to relive the whole round that was intense from the first hole to the 18 hole, I recommend going checking that out. I think the only way you'll be able to do that is subscribing to Discord Network and just watching the whole podcast. But let's jump into the results and what happened because it was quite intense there was a lot of people tied for the lead for a long time and it was really fun to watch live Kyle Klein congratulations to Kyle Klein Kyle Klein played nine under the first round nine under the second round and threw minus 13 on the final round what nerves are still and as you can see bogey free and just pure excellence for Kyle Klein. He wasn't on the lead the whole time though, because Cole Redalen was on the lead, Adam Hams was on the lead, Calvin Heinberg was on the lead, even, even Paul Macbeth, Kevin Jones, Nate Sexton. At some point there was, I think, six or seven people tied for first place. That that's just shows how tight the final round was. But at the end of the day, Kyle Klein took the win and congratulations to Carl Klein. Based on his whole weekend, he deserved it. Adam Hams led the whole competition to the final round and came second. He had a really slow start and I think that hurt him a little because, well, he needed to catch up what others were doing. And one thing Adam Hams did that no other did. Through a hole in one on hole eight. I'm gonna show you the hole in one now. Hamas needs to get something yeah. going. Up the tunnel with the forehand. And in, Adam Hammes. Hole in one. Incredible. Incredible, Terry. If that doesn't hit the basket, he's gone. Not only does it hit the basket, it stays. Adam Hammes is squarely back in this tournament. Exactly what he needed after four pars in a row on holes two through five. Hammes cards the ace on eight and momentarily takes the outright lead adam hammis it was going to be gone it's an ace tied for third place cole red Allen and calvin heimberg my god calvin played awesomely as always i'm gonna probably say that every tournament throughout the year calvin again fighting for the win tied for third place just an excellent weekend unfortunately he had a bit of a hiccup on the hole 12, to, took a double bogey. But other than that, a really good performance from Calvin once more. And Cole Redalen played an awesome last round. Even though you can see that Cole had two bogeys and one double bogey. And he still managed to be tied for third place. Just incredible. Like Cole played really well. And I also have to mention Kevin Jones, James Conrad, Matthew Orm, Nate Sexton, Paul Macbeth. All of the MPO side, like the top 20 players, played really well and were all battling for the win. Unfortunately, they ran out of steam sometimes and fell a bit behind and couldn't catch up to the top four. Here's some highlights of Kevin Jones, James Conrad, Matthew Orum, Paul Macbeth from the last round, just to show that they were doing their very best to battle out for the win at Baco. Kevin Jones off the tee of hole number 18. With this tailwind, yeah. this is a birdie look. I want a birdie connection. Fan on site right now. Which card do you even follow? <laughs> Orum gets that one to flex back up, and he's parked. Perfectly executed from Adam Hammes. I like this shot as well. Off the 
at 25. So here's James Conrad. This hole is right in James's wheelhouse. That's going to be inside circle one for James Conrad. We don't have that much time to recover from Waco because next weekend is going to be another Pro Tour event at Texas. The only thing in my mind is I hope they are as good as Waco and Las Vegas was. Leave a comment down below who you think is going to take Texas from the FBO and MBO side. And also what's your overall opinion about Waco? Like the video and remember to subscribe because then you would see more content from me and also more of these. Thanks for watching. See you guys next weekend. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2023 Prodigy presents Waco Annual Charity Open Champion, Kyle Klein! Congratulations, man. Great tournament, dude. Also, Kyle's going to get a brand new Komodo scooter for the win. Congratulations, man. Kyle, an absolutely chaotic weekend of disc golf is over and you found yourself atop of the leaderboard once again. I'm just going to give you the softball question. How are you feeling overall about the weekend? I don't know. There's a lot of emotions right now. I just feel, I feel honored really. I knew, I knew what it took coming into today and this weekend in general and I knew I had to get it done and I was able to get it done today. The MPO field is growing in skill and, and scoring ability year after year. When you woke up this morning, did you think a 13 under was what you had to shoot today? I mean, warming up, that's pretty much what I said, 13, 14, somewhere around there. But I didn't think, I didn't think it'd be just an outright win. I thought there'd be a playoff of some sort, whether or not I'm in it, but. Let's look at hole number 18. You sat on the tee pad, looked like you were watching Adam Hammes as long as you possibly could. How far back were you looking at scores this round? Maybe after nine. I checked after nine, then every couple holes from then just to know what I needed to do. If I needed to like play smart or if I could afford something like a bogey or a layup. So. Well, let's piggyback off that. On 18, Adam put his second shot really far away from the basket, C2, and you went for pretty aggressive high hyzer line on 18 was that just you giving him respect thinking that he was going to get the birdie i on 18 really i just I, that's been my play if there's tailwind i throw it high and wide and try to spike it in there i don't try to throw low because i know this green is pretty fast and it could skip long it'll be or give myself a circle too so i'm really just trying to stick it real close so many people out here came to see you play and you played phenomenally 13 under par such a clean round to finish off do you have any words for the people that watched you here and are watching you from home right now? Yeah, I just want to thank everyone that's been that's been by my side this whole time and anyone who cheered me on today. I really appreciate my fans and um, yeah, I just feel honored to be here today. Well, congratulations! What a weekend and enjoy yourself this week. We'll see you in Austin. Thank you. It was incredible battle out there between you and a lot of other players. General thoughts about the day. Uh, yeah, I had a gold mine this morning. Um, I thought if I could shoot 10 under, um, I had a 20 footer on 18 to do it. I didn't have to make that putt, but um, I thought that'd be good enough. And uh, Kyle went out there and straight up outplayed us today. So congrats to him. Yeah, one of our few chase card champions, uh, Simon Lazak, comes to mind last year, MVP, but not a very common instance. A lot of players shooting incredible rounds out here. What is it about this course that creates such exciting finishes? I mean, you start out of the woods and it's windy, you go into the woods, it gets calm, and you gain some confidence, get a couple good birdies, and then you come out and the wind starts to blow again, and you got to put your shots where you want them. Um, it affected me. Uh, it was windy coming out of that woods, and I uh, just tried to hold on for dear life, and you know, Kyle, Kyle just kept pushing and, and finished strong. So. You had a pretty slow start, one under through the first five, but rattled off six, seven, and aced hole number eight air shot with a forehand. Can you talk about that stretch? Uh, yeah. I uh, what is it, hole six? Six, I just I made a nice putt um, to get some confidence back. Seven, I had a routine birdie, and then eight, I just told myself, throw your glow zone into the ground at you know circle two whisker and let's slide up. And it aired out and slammed it into the basket. So it is nice, but it wasn't the throw I was looking for. You rattled off the next ten after or three after that, 10, 11, and 12, and got back into a really nice position. Stagnated from 13 all the way to 17. 
17, you threw kind of a conservative second shot, kind of got a little air underneath it. Uh, were you wanting to play it conservative? No, I was trying to attack that pin that just came out of my hand a little soft. Um, obviously, just watched Proctor flip his, so I was a little scared. Um, but yeah, almost made the putt, and it's unfortunate. One last question for you. Talk about the MPO field this year. There's a lot of players that are getting a lot of experience, and there's not a lot of newcomers uh, that are that are playing super hot. There's a lot of veterans now, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Talk about the field. The field's insane. I mean, to win one of these Pro Tour events now is, is insanely hard. Um, I mean, there's so many young kids coming up. Cole Rodallin, Kyle. I mean, I'm a little older than those guys now, but I like to put myself in them still. Uh, Gannon Burr, I mean, there's so many more names I can rattle off. Calvin's not too far off for, you know, how old are you, Calvin? Kelvin's 27, so he's still still young in most eyes. Um, but yeah, it's it's really hard to win these, these events, and just to have a chance to win them is special. Well, you came extremely close, and you played fantastic, put on an incredible show for the spectators. Any final words for the people at home? Uh, thanks for watching. Tried to, tried to give it my all out there, and uh, I appreciate everyone. Thank you. Well, good luck. We'll see you out there next week. Thank you.